All right, welcome back. Now, this is an exciting part of the show. We've been joined by a versatile TV presenter, on-air personality, actor, and so much more. Hmm? Yes, yeah, Stephanie Coca. Now, she has starred in a couple of movies and popular TV series, Tinsel as Feke. She is currently a co-host of The Voice Nigeria. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So now you need to tell us a lot more about this um, new project you've embarked on. And of course, yeah. first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. congratulations. Thank you so much. Hello, mommy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so crazy. Um, yeah. So uh, what I'm working on now is actually opening up and mm. talking about my journey, my conception story, and also mm. my pregnancy experience. Because, yeah. you know, when, when people are pregnant, they shy away from the camera or they just go into like some type of, not hiding, but you- It was hiding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was hiding. it is hiding, right? Yeah, but people don't really know what goes on. And when that happens, other people don't get to really know what to expect. You know yeah. what to expect when expecting. expecting. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided, okay, why don't I, you know, first of all, talk about my conception um, and then also, show a bit about like what happened during my pregnancy and yeah. a bit about my labor story as well yeah. right. so that's what i've yeah. done okay so i have to take uh, let's backtrack yes mm -hmm. so we're, we're still nigerians mm -hmm. nigerians have this thing about keeping you know things all those private things yeah. private yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and of course you're you're married to quite a, an influential family right mm -hmm. now did they have any issues with you coming out with all this information? Uh, no, but you know, I, I, I think the most important person is my husband. Okay. So it's my partner. And um, I think my mom was a bit more like, no. <laughs> 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 like she, she literally said no. And I said, yeah. so I don't no. understand. She said, no, like nobody asked you. Why would you now? Yeah. And I, because I feel like it will help other people, number one. And mm -hmm. I was given this platform for a reason, you know? It's not just to be like a celebrity. I feel like we're also, you know, able to help others and enlighten other people in, in, in any way that we can, especially yeah. educating people on things that could happen to them as well. Mm -hmm, yeah. So that's why I decided, you know what? Yeah. People always talk and people are gonna have their opinion, but I think it's important for me to do this. And especially because I'm so private, yeah. like I really don't talk about my personal life. <laughs> Um, I decided this would be a good avenue All right. to start. Okay. All right. So I wanted to talk about your, the trailer of your yeah. of the show. You said um, people feel like they know so much about you, but they don't know like up to 1%. They feel like yeah. they know 100%. So now tell us, apart from the pregnancy, mm -hmm. give us like a sneak, no, a sneak peek. Tell us something <laughs> about you that people do not know. Um, oh, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much, eh? Yeah, I think, okay, if I'm really honest, yeah. I think like, for example, when um, like when there's something going on in my household, like maybe I think maybe my husband has it, had an issue mm. at the time. I think people thought I was like out partying or going to work, mm. but they didn't really understand like before anything happened, I was already out. I was already at work. Mm. So oh, mm. it's almost, and they don't know that my husband is one of those people that don't like to dwell on situations. So he doesn't want you sitting at home moping. Mm. He will get upset if you do that. So he wants you to be out. Mm. So I was like, I don't want to go out, but I'm already out and I'm, I'm already at work. Like, yeah. and the next day I had to go again. He's like, no, keep going. Like, yeah. cause there's nothing yeah. wrong. You know, mm. the media blow, they blow things out of proportion oh, yeah. sometimes. And mm -hmm. you can't really start narrating what's really going mm -hmm. on because yeah. they will always find a way to dissect it and tell, you know, you're lying or this. So I just stay yeah. quiet. Now, as a media yeah. personality, talking about them finding a way to dissect things. Yeah. Now, did you feel like you were somewhat under some kind of pressure to actually explain, well, this is what is going uh, on? No, not really, because I, I think it's important for the people that love you and know you to understand what's going on first. Yeah. And then um, it's really about you dealing with the situation internally. Mm. I, I mean, as I said, I don't know, maybe if it ha if something happens, God forbid, like if yeah. something happens again, maybe I'll be more inclined. But I just don't see the point because it just you just prolong the story if yeah. you keep answering and explaining and people will just keep telling you, no, you're not. That's not right. Yeah. That you you missed the part in the story. You know, they really yeah. will rip it apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, and, it, and I, I know the truth. So it's like, OK. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's whatever. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to touch on, you know, the, the fact that, yes, you're a mom now. Yes. So, and you're a media mom. Mm -hmm. So there were, before now, you had some very risque dresses, outfits. Yeah. You used to wear. 
um, you know, you, you were always all out. Mm -hmm. um, you were always on red carpets, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Do you think this is going to change? Is there anything about your personality that's going to change now that you're a mom? You know what? I, no, I don't think so because mm -hmm. nothing has actually changed apart from the responsibility. You know, I, I can't get up and just go. I was very much accustomed to doing that. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of dressing, mm. I don't think anything is going to change. I mean, I do have a couple of stretch mark friends, <laughs> um, which I might want to, you know, keep hidden. <laughs> but apart from that, no, not really. I think, you know, when you have a child, it's just, a, it's a, you become a newer version of yourself. I don't think you have to change who you are. Yeah. Um, Mm. A better version, mm. especially. Mm. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think anything, just apart from the responsibility and mm. just making sure that I do things that my daughter will be proud of. Uh -huh. So maybe I'll probably think twice before I do, making certain decisions yeah. that could um, possibly affect her in the future. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important. Yeah. Because I'm, it's not, I'm not living for myself and just my husband and my mom and everybody. So yeah. Somebody's really looking up okay. to me, yeah. Right. And now how so. did you, f um, sorry, mm. so much, I do a lot of research. So <laughs> now you talked about yeah. um, being a mom at 31. Mm. Yeah. Now, while you were turning 30, did you feel like the normal Nigerian pressure of, okay, there are no kids yet, um, what do I have to do? Mm. I. You know what? I think it's more like I had a plan oh, for okay. my life. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't know. A lot of women, a lot of people plan uh, themselves. Yeah. Like, okay, by this time I want to be married. By this time I want to yeah. have babies. So I kind of like did do that. But then when I realized, okay, you know what? We are actually going to have to do something to make this happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I kind of did want to be pregnant at a certain time. Like I wanted, I remember I wanted to be pregnant in December okay. and then give birth in August. Okay. <laughs> okay. My husband's birthday is in August. <laughs> so I planned it, but it didn't go to plan. She ended up actually being born close to my birthday, so we're like ten days apart, eleven days apart. Okay. Yeah, but um, I did feel pressure in the sense that I think I put pressure on myself. Okay. Um, I didn't have pressure from my in-laws because they they're quite chilled, cool. Like I know people talk about their mother-in-laws, like, mm. but like my mother-in-law is literally like my mom, like my grandma. Aww. Like she's so amazing. Like I really love her. Yeah. Okay. And my mom was more like, you know, I don't know. She's more like excited about having a child than rather putting pressure. Yeah. But I did put a lot of pressure on myself. But just because I kept saying I want this by thirty, I want that by thirty-one. So I was like, um, this is not the plan. Like, <laughs> where is the baby? This come now. So I think it was more of me. And then also social media. Yeah. Um, I think that was probably where I got the most pressure because you'll post the picture and people will be like oh look see she looks pregnant oh. <laughs> I'm not pregnant <laughs> and how do you know I'm not trying but they're like oh see she's just walking up and down Beverly Hills enjoying her life she doesn't want to have a baby and they don't know people yeah. are actually trying like yeah. you, I don't have to show you that I'm on a sick bed or mm. I'm you know doing certain things for you to realize that I am actively trying to have a child yeah. and that's why I decided to talk about the conception story yeah. so and this story I have a feeling is going to be an interesting one because yeah. she's such a talker <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine <laughs> how the videos are. But um, yeah. we, we did talk earlier about the food in the kitchen. Yes, we did. And you, you're excited about that I one, am. Yeah? So I love food. I'm, I'm on a <laughs> small diet, but okay. so small, don't worry. Post -mom, um, um, postpartum diet, but, but I think yeah, I can let this You can slide for today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen.